Hi guys, I'm Nathan from Next Gen Tutorials, and today I'm bringing you a short tutorial on time lapses with Sony Vegas Pro 12. I was looking for a time lapse program for quite a while, and little did I know I had one in front of me the entire time. I always use Sony Vegas for my video editing, and apparently it's really easy to use to make time lapses as well. So let's get right to it. First of all, you have to have your folder with the pictures that you want to import. I have 617 around 3 megabytes JPEGs in this folder right here. And what you have to do is, once you know where your folder uh, is located, go to File, Import, Media, click that. And as you can see, it's already in the correct folder. Once you have navigated to the correct folder, you click the first picture in that folder. Make sure to mark Open Sequence. Click Open, and this box will open, which will ask you a couple of things like tape name. You can name your uh, project media if you want to uh, add another time lapse to it to put on uh, to put it behind of your first one. You can choose around all of these options but the only thing I'm really interested at right now is the frame rate which is on 29 uh, for me that's fine because I think slower will make it a bit more chompy which I don't want but it really depends on how many pictures uh, you've made and how long you want to have the time lapse so once you have your t frame rate done you just click OK and it puts it here in your project media so be sure that your project media is clicked on and that you're not on transition explorer or video effects or whatever project media you take that project and you add it in your timeline and that's it that's all that is to it so let's take it press play and as you can see my time lapse is made that's how easy it is so once you've done that, there's little more that you have to do. You can edit it, but that's another tutorial. Uh, what I do want to show you in this one, though, is how to make the clip longer or shorter, which is really easy. Um, you press Alt on a computer, and I think it's Command on a, on a Mac. So I've pressed it, and you just go to the end of the clip, and drag it to the right if you want to make it longer or to the left if you want to compress it and make it shorter the duration that is so it won't cut off the ending it will just uh, make the video faster or longer so let's I'm not gonna make it any longer I think 20 seconds was about nice maybe a little a little bit longer and that's it now you just have to render it I like to render it, go to file and render as. A good one for me was this one here, Internet HD 1080p, so main concept AVC, AAC, and it made a f it makes file sizes for this 20 second video for from about 30 megabytes to 60 megabytes, which is not too much. So, uh, and the quality is great, so I'm just gonna render this and once it's done, it's done. You have your time lapse. That's how easy it is. I'm going to pause this video real quickly and show you the end result. So, the rendering is complete and let's open the video file real quickly. And there you go. That's our time lapse. How awesome is that? So, I hope you guys enjoyed and learned something from this tutorial. If you did, please like and subscribe. It would help me out a lot. And Keep watch for new tutorials. Bye guys!